The best way to make passive income in 2024 is social media. And you won't believe how much people are making from TikTok and YouTube accounts. Starting a faceless account is easier than ever, thanks to the power of AI. AI has allowed for content to be created 10 times easier than before, meaning that staying consistent with social media is easier than ever. In this video, I'll be showcasing the best niche that you need to start in 2024 in order to make passive income from TikTok and YouTube. This niche is so good, it could quite literally appeal to the whole world, meaning we have an almost infinite number of potential viewers. What's more is that it is fully original content, meaning we don't have to worry about not being accepted into the program. Right now, this niche isn't saturated, and due to the potential number of viewers, it almost never will be, as potential accounts won't be able to outgrow the niche. Later on, I'll provide you with a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make this content, so you literally have no reason not to start on social media right now. Just before I show you an example video in this niche, I just want to say that I am giving away my full TikTok guide for completely free in this video's description. So if you want to learn how to make more money than the creativity program itself, be sure to check it out. A light. Here's an example video in this niche. The celebrity by their hair. Who is this lady? Taylor Swift. Yes, the celebrity. So it's part of the quiz niche and it involves close-ups of famous people. The reason why this niche is so good is in the name. As these people are famous, they will literally appeal to almost everyone. Because of this, there is a high chance that your viewer would be able to guess the person, meaning that they'll be engaged by your video. We all know that engagement is king on TikTok, so if the average scroller is interested by your video, then we literally have a lottery ticket to go viral. However, viral without access to the program is useless. If you're not in these regions, you can't make money from TikTok due to the regional restrictions. To bypass this, however, if have accounts for sale in these regions in this video's description. Okay, the first thing that we need for this video is a list of the famous people that we're gonna zoom into and quiz people on in this video. To do this, I'm going to use ChatGPT. Head to ChatGPT and click on the input box. I'm going to start by asking the AI for examples of three famous people that can be grouped together. And I've included the example of the three footballers, Ronaldo, Messi, and Neymar. As you can see, the AI has given us back a few options that we can use for our video. Now, as we need our video to be over one minute long, we're gonna need some more examples. So I'm just going to ask the AI to think of some more for us. As each section will be around six seconds long, we need 10 questions for our voiceover. Once we have a list of 10 that we like, we can move over to the next step. Now, we need to start generating the voiceover for our video. The voiceover software that I'll be using is called Eleven Labs, as it's generated the voice that you're listening to right now. Eleven Labs is free, however it does have a character limit. If you want to purchase more, use the link in this video's description. Once you're on Eleven Labs, we want to select a voice to use for our video. To do this, hit this drop down here and try a few voices until you find one that you like. Now, we need to input some text. I'm going to start with the hook of the video, which will be, guess the famous person by their hair, the last one is impossible. With our hook in place, we need to now go back to ChatGPT. It's here that we want to copy over one of the three options for each section. The reason that we only need one is because we're only going to read out the answer, which will be the person that you choose. You need to repeat this step until you have a list of 10 names pasted into 11 labs. This will take a second, but it's definitely worth it. Now, about halfway through your list, you want to input a share booster. I'm going to input the following, who's smarter, you, or the first person that appears when you hit share and then more. This will drastically boost our shares, which will in turn make us more viral. Now that our voiceover is complete, we want to hit generate speech at the bottom. Finally, once the AI has done its thing, download it, and we can move over to the next step. We now want to get some background gameplay in order to make our video more engaging. And for this, I'm going to use Minecraft Parkour. I actually have a pack full of copyright-free HD gameplays that you can find in this video's description. If you want to gather the parkour for yourself, firstly head to YouTube, search for Minecraft Parkour, and then scroll around until you find one that you want to use for your video. Select it. Last thing we need for our video is some sound effects. These are so simple to add, 
but make our video 10x more engaging. In order to do this, you want to head to this site called Pixabay. Once on Pixabay, hit sound effects below the search bar. Once selected, I'm firstly going to search for a whoosh sound, as we want to play this every time a new image appears. Scroll around and try out a few ones until you find something you like, then download it. The next sound that we need to search for is a clock ticking sound. We're going to play this just before the end of each question. Find one you like and save it to your device. We've now got everything that we need, so it's time to edit it all together. To do this, I'll use CapCut. Once on CapCut, you want to go ahead and hit New Project. Start by importing everything that we've just gathered from the internet. We firstly want to start with the voiceover, so drag it onto the timeline. Now, as our voiceover is only 20 seconds, we need to break it up a bit. Start by splitting your voiceover in between every question. To do this, place the cursor between the parts you want to split, and then press the split button. It'll take a second, but you should have a voiceover with all these split parts. The next step is to begin to separate these. As we need time between our questions for people to think, we want to position one answer every six seconds. So start by dragging out all of your voiceovers so that they're separated by a blank space. Make sure that your last voiceover reaches the one minute mark. Once your voiceover is in place, we want to add in the background gameplay. Select the parkour and drag it onto your timeline. Our parkour is still horizontal, so we need to go ahead and hit this ratio button and then select nine by 16. Finally, size your parkour so that it fills the screen. The next thing that we need to add is our celebrities. Our first one is Elon, so I'm gonna drag him in first. We need to make sure that the picture lasts from the start of the video until after the answer is revealed, so drag it out like so. All right, we now need to crop the image so that only the hair is visible. So go ahead and do just that. Once your image has cropped, you wanna drag it into the top middle of the screen, like so. In order to complete the video, you need to add the rest of the celebrities and crop their faces. I'll fast forward this part as it does take a minute, but it's essential to make a viral video. All right, the next thing that we need to add is the text. Head to the top left of CapCut, hit text and add some default text. Now we want to enter the three options that ChatGPT gave us into this box. So copy them from ChatGPT and paste them into the box. Make sure that there's a space between each one. Now add A, B, and C before each text, just to make it look a bit better. We're now going to customize our text, so scroll down and start by changing the font. Pick something that you like and that you'd use for future videos. Next, scroll down and check the boxes under stroke and shadow in order to give our text some depth. Just like the images, you need to copy and paste this text for each bit of voiceover. Once again, this'll take a minute, but it's essential to make a viral video. It does take a minute, but our video is almost done. The last thing we need to add is our sound effects. I'll start with the whoosh sound. You want to place this every time the image of the celebrity changes. It's super easy to do. Just drag them into the timeline. Now for the clock sound, you want to drag this just before the answer is revealed. This builds a sense of urgency and keeps people engaged in the blank space of our video. All right, our video is looking pretty good. Here's what it should look like now. Guess the famous person by their hair. The last one is impossible. Elon Musk. This video is done, so export it. Don't forget to grab my full guide at the top of this video's description, as it is completely free. Bye.